and the tens of thousands of Coloradans driven from their neighborhoods by wind-whipped wildfires anxiously waited to learn what was left standing of their lives Friday after the flames burned an estimated 580 homes, a hotel and a shopping center. At least one first responder and six other people were injured in the blazes that erupted outside Denver on Thursday morning, and usually late in the year, following an extremely dry fall and amid a winter nearly devoid of snow so far. Boulder County Sheriff Joe Pell said there could be more injuries, and also deaths, because of the intensity of the fast-moving fires, propelled by winds that gusted up to 105 miles per hour, 169 kp. One slash ten wildfires burn hundreds of homes in Colorado. Thousands flee previous next jar captions less than p greater than people evacuate Louisville after wind driven wildfires prompted evacuation orders near Boulder, Colorado. Reuters photo less than slash p greater than less than p greater than flames engulf homes as the Marshall fire spreads through a neighborhood in the town of Superior in Boulder County, Colorado. KP photo Less than slash p greater than less than p greater than the Marshall Fire engulfs a home in Louisville, Colorado as crews worked through the night battling the blaze that had destroyed more than 500 homes in Boulder County. A p photo, less than slash p greater than less than p greater than residents fight the Marshall Fire in Louisville, Colorado. A p photo, less than slash p greater than less than p greater than the fire, fueled by high winds, burned through Boulder County destroying hundreds on homes and businesses. A P photo, less than slash P greater than less than P greater than homes burn as wildfires rip through a development in Superior, Colo. A P photo, less than slash P greater than less than P greater than a wall of smoke and flames rise up as the Marshall Fire spreads through grasslands outside the town of Superior in Boulder County, Colorado. Reuters photo, less than slash P greater than less than P greater than homes burn as wildfires rip through a development. A P photo, Less than slash p greater than less than p greater than an estimated 580 homes, a hotel and a shopping center have burned and tens of thousands of people were evacuated in wind-fueled wildfires outside Denver. A p photo, less than slash p greater than less than p greater than homes burn as a wildfire rips through a development near Rock Creek Village near Broomfield, Colorado. A p photo, less than slash p greater than, this is the kind of fire we can't fight head on, Pell said. We actually had deputy sheriffs and firefighters in areas that had to pull out because they just got overrun. Mike Buonella and his family were relaxing at the home in the city of Superior and looking forward to celebrating a belated Christmas later in the day when reports of a nearby grass fire quickly gave way to an order to leave immediately. Instead of opening presents, Buonella and his wife, their three children and three dogs were staying at a friend's house in Denver, hoping their house was still standing. Those presents are still under the tree right now, we hope, he said. As night fell, officials watched the behavior of the wind and flames to determine when crews could safely go in to assess the damage and search for any victims. About an inch of snow was forecast for the region Friday, raising hopes it could help suppress the flames. The neighboring cities of Louisville and Superior, situated about 20 miles, 32 kilometers, Northwest of Denver and home to a combined people were ordered evacuated ahead of the flames, which cast a smoky, orange haze over the landscape and lit up the night sky. The two towns are filled with middle and upper middle class subdivisions with shopping centers, parks and schools. The area is between Denver and Boulder, home to the University of Colorado. Residents evacuated fairly calmly and in orderly fashion, but the winding streets quickly became clogged. It sometimes took cause as long as 45 minutes to advance a half mile. Small fires cropped up here and there in surprising places, on the grass in a median or in a dumpster in the middle of a parking lot, as gusts caused the flames to jump. Shifting winds caused the skies to turn from clear to smoky and then back again as sirens wailed. Leah Einstman and her husband were returning to their Louisville home from Denver International Airport after being away for the holidays. They recounted leaving clear blue skies and instantly entering clouds of brown and yellow smoke. The wind rocked the bus so hard that I thought the bus would tip, she said. The visibility was so poor the bus had to pull over. They waited a half hour until a transit authority van escorted the bus to a turnaround on the highway. The sky was dark, dark brown, and the dirt was blowing in swirls across the sidewalk like snakes, she said.
Vignesh Kasanath, a professor of biochemistry at the University of Colorado, evacuated from a neighborhood in Superior with his wife and her parents. It's only because I am active on Twitter I came to know about this, said Kasanath, who said he did not receive an evacuation notice from authorities. The first fire erupted just before 10.30 a.m. and was attacked pretty quickly and laid down later in the day, with no structures lost, the sheriff said. A second blaze, reported just after 11 a.m., ballooned and spread rapidly, Pell said. It covered at least 2.5 square miles, 6.5 square kilometers. Some of the several blazes in the area were sparked by downed power lines, authorities said. Scientists say climate change is making weather more extreme and wildfires more frequent and destructive. Colorado's Front Range, where most of the state's population lives, had an extremely dry and mild fall, and winter has been mostly dry so far. Denver set a record for consecutive days without snow before it got a small storm on deck. 10. Its last snowfall before the wildfires broke up. 90% of Boulder County is in severe or extreme drought, and it hasn't seen substantial rainfall since midsummer. With any snow on the ground, this absolutely would not have happened in the way that it did, said snow hydrologist Keith Musselman. Buonella said he heard from a firefighter friend that his home was still standing Thursday night. But he could only wait and see. You're just waiting to hear if your favorite restaurant is still standing, if the schools that your kids go to are still standing, he said. I blocked test why.